Welcome back to your online uh, e-learning. You will now have completed units two and three in your worksheets in your lab. Uh, hopefully you will have done some e-learning on unit one, anatomy and physiology, and also on unit four, principles of exercise and fitness. You may even at this stage have actually taken those theory papers or you may need mock papers. So don't forget, give someone a shout if you feel that you're at that stage. Uh, your stuff will be tracked online anyway. Uh, we're now going to move into Unit 5, which is planning gym-based exercise. If I show you the worksheet for this, there it is. You'll find this on page number 16. And again, uh, a series of answers that you can get out of the manual and also from your e-learning. Uh, when you've completed that, we need to actually look at uh, your planning. You will notice on pages 20 and 21 something called professional discussion documents. You can actually discard these, we don't need them, so you can just put a line through those and, uh, and we're going to use the worksheets instead. On page 22 there's a physical activity readiness questionnaire sheet, otherwise known as a PARQ. You would have seen these in gyms if you're a gym member. You need to get your client just to work through this PARQ and also look at the informed consent uh, document on page 23 and the health commitment statement on page 24 so those need to be done we're then going to actually do the plan for your assessment this is what you're going to be assessed on in terms of practical application so you're going to go around the gym and you're going to be assessed by one of personal training qualifications uh, assessors so the very first part of this requires your client's name and it also needs a few safety checks so you need to do some a few checks on bits and pieces also any special arrangements that may need to be made uh, in terms of the gym you're going to be working in if it's your own gym you can uh, get that information from uh, someone that works there or if it's one of our gyms we can give you that um, you'll notice here there's a requirement for a duty first aider a local a locality of the nearest telephone and also first aid kit so you need to get that in there as well the very first part of the war of the workout is a, a warm-up and this is a CV warm-up so CV standing for cardiovascular so we need to put what kind of CV exercise you wish a client to start with an upright bike is quite good for a warm-up or even uh, a brisk walk on a treadmill this is going to uh, take about six minutes. We're going to take one minute to get your client from a uh, rate of perceived exertion of zero or one up to five. And then we're going to hold them there for about three minutes. And then we're going to bring them down for a minute. So you need to just put the equipment and the time in here. We then need to know a workload or, train, or target training zone. As I just said, RP of five would would be uh, put into here and then teaching points in the manual I want you to go in find two teaching points for that piece of equipment and put the two teaching points in there when we've done that we're going to look at the main CV so the main CV is usually LSD so LSD meaning long slow duration and we're going to put this in here the LSD equipment would be something like a cross trainer or a rower or a treadmill or a stepper something that you can maintain for quite a long time uh, so you put this in this box here number two and we put the time in so the time we're going to start with is 26 minutes sounds like a bit of an odd number but we're going to take three minutes to get that person from a zero RPE up to a number seven we're going to hold it there for 20 minutes and then three minutes down to cool them down it's really important that those three minute warm up and cool down are adhered to. We don't want to be any less than three minutes. So that's why it's 26 minutes. We then look at resistance training section. So resistance training really is resistance machines. So we need to have some compound exercises to begin with. Compound meaning the uh, exercises that involve more than one joint movement. And then if we have any isolation exercises, Isolation exercises being exercises that just use one joint movement, they need to come in afterwards. We'll give you an example of one. We could say for a main resistance training, exercise here would be something like a leg press. So this is going to work the legs 
uh, quadriceps, some hamstring involvement and also gluteus maximus. The equipment we would need for it would be a leg press machine. The sets and reps, well this really depends on what your client wants to do, but if we're looking at muscular endurance, we would say two sets of 15 reps. And the RPE or the intensity would be about a six or seven. And then again, we want two teaching points in here. All right, so fairly straightforward. We then need to have three more resistance training, uh, training exercises. And then if we go over onto page 26, sorry, 26, we then need to have four free weight exercises. Again, starting with compound exercises. So this one we could perhaps start with a deadlift. The equipment you would need would be a barbell and some uh, plates. We would do two sets of 15 again and the teaching points, we'd need two teaching points for a deadlift. The outcome of these resistance training methods, both the machines and the free weights, would be eight exercises that cover what we call a full body routine. So we would expect all of the exercises together to have covered the deltoids, the pectorals or chest, elements of the back, the legs and the biceps and the triceps. So you must have some exercises for all of those body parts included in this. We come down there next on, to, on page 26 again to body weight exercises. So you may wonder what that is. Body weight exercises are just exercises that you do that just involve your body and nothing else. So we can look at things like body weight squats, we can look at abdominal curls, uh, things like this, uh, anything really that involves just body weight, so leg lunges as well, anything like that, you'll find them in the manual. So we need to have these put in here. So as you can see here, we have three. We need the equipment that's required, you may need a mat, you may not. If it's chins that you're doing, you would need a chinning bar. Sets and reps, two sets of 15 again, or as much as you can do. If you're doing chins and uh, you're like me, you probably won't be able to do too many, so 15 would be difficult. And then teaching points. We want two teaching points on each of those things. That actually then brings the actual resistance training to a close. And we turn over here and we have a cool down. So again, a piece of CV equipment, not the same as the first one and not the same as the main CV, so something else. A recumbent bike could be used, this is the bike that just sits back a little bit, or again you can use a treadmill or something like this. This is exactly the same period of time as the warm up, so we would have the activity here, i.e. recumbent bike, the time would be uh, six minutes, oh, sorry five minutes, one minute up, three minutes across and one minute down, RPE of six to seven, and again, two teaching points. We then want a number of stretches from you. There's 10 boxes here, so we want 10 warm-up stretches. These need to be dynamic. Those are moving stretches. So again, just refer to your manual and your e-learning for these dynamic stretches. And then cool-down stretches at the end here need to be added just five stretches, and we want them to be held for 10 to 15 seconds. Little diagrams in here would be good, little stick men, you may not be brilliant artists, but you can have a little go at it, and we can all have a little laugh at your attempts afterwards. When you've done that, if you turn over onto page uh, 28, 29, 30 and 31, you'll see four cards like these. The very first one is for a CV session plan. So what we want you to do is take one of your CV exercises out of the program that you've just done. So that would be either warm-up bike, uh, treadmill, one of those, and you're going to project them or magnify them onto this. <clears throat> so for this, we need the timing of it. So as we said, for the main CV, it would be 26 minutes. We want the intensity, so it would be an RPE of 6 to 7. Here, muscle exercise and muscle group. So if it's a treadmill, it would be quadriceps, hamstrings, tibialis anterior, gastrocnemius, all the muscle groups you can think of or get out of the manual, pop them in here. All of the teaching points that you can find for a CV exercise, uh, depending on which one you do. And then any alternatives that you can think of. So if the treadmill was busy, you could use a cross trainer or a rain machine 
or something along those lines. Look into the adaptations then at the end. 